holding on to this. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Hey guys, so what is going on? <laughs> anyway, what's going on guys? It's Zach and Bro here and back with another video. We are talking about a little controversial topic today, which is flavored condoms. And so, James has a really huge opinion about this. Wake up. Oh. What's up, man? Oh, ow. Wake up, man. So we're talking about flavor condoms today. Okay. What do you think about them? Do you think people should use them? Uh, I don't think that... I think that it's a very interesting thing to have flavored condoms, you know? Especially since you could use it, your mouth to taste the flavor and to lubricate the condom. But I don't know what the whole use is. Unless if you're trying to make the other person's J smell like cherries. Other than that, I don't really see the whole point of using flavored condoms, but that's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. I mean, I'm just saying, when you guys are, you know, doing the poop poop and you're trying to put the flavored <laughs> condom in the ding the pee -pee. In the dingling area, and you know you gotta dingling. attach that thing, and you know sometimes it's gonna be a little bit stiff, and you know, you need to put some liquid stuff on it, like a mouth saliva stuff. I don't know. Interesting, interesting. Thank you for your opinion. Oh, well, you're welcome. Do you think people should use it? Yeah, if you want to have like a cherry flavor vajay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go or see. Or if you want Jeez. like a cherry flavor dingling. Oh, true, true. Just saying, okay, now let me go to sleep. <laughs> Jimbo, what up? So, what do you think about flavored protection? Flavored. Um, kind of... Personally, I've never used them. I've always just regular ones, so I wouldn't really know much about them. But I don't know. I don't really see a point in them. Like, do you think people should use them? I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, yeah, why not? <laughs> But me personally, I would not use them. So like, if there was a, a orange flavored condom, An you orange. wouldn't want to use like yeah, like I don't know. I mean, I don't see what purpose it would do. Like, if you're just having sex, why would you? Why would it need to be orange flavored? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying your pee pee or I mean ding a ling would taste like oranges if you. Or you know what? You could use a flavored condom. You could put it like ahead of time. Oh, before I mean, sex. And so if the woman decides to be nasty and put her mouth in the dingling area, then she would taste flavored stuff instead yeah, of Yeah, like I guess skin. if you have sex and you use it bef and then your girl gives you head after, I guess it's better than tasting latex. So. Yeah, but it's still nasty. No. It's, women, it's women, good. women, women, ladies, girls, I'm telling you right now, do not put your mouth in men's pee pee holes. Ladies. Okay? Because that okay. is where men pee through, and that is where the white <laughs> stuff come out. You do not need to be putting your mouth in that nasty area. Same thing with men. You don't have to be putting your mouth in the vajayj area. There's pee right, you know what? segments you know what? part of it. Get off my bed. Get out of my room. Why? I'm just, I'm just, that's just my opinion, okay? People have their opinions, and that's my mother. <laughs> that is my opinion, okay? <laughs> And I'm trying so hard not to swear, but that is the truth, okay? That is the damn They're truth. true. They're true. <laughs> it's, it, it's all tea, no shit, okay? I'm just saying that, you know, women putting their mouths or men putting their mouths in places where it shouldn't be going, that's just, you know. You have to know from personal experience, buddy. Well, you know, I'm just saying you shouldn't put things in holes that it shouldn't go through. I'm just saying all I'm saying is... The pee pee dingling thing should go through the vajay You have to be else. open to new experiences. I, I, I don't want to. No. I don't want anybody putting their mouths near my area, nor would I want my mouth to be in other people's area. I beg to differ. The bottom goes with bottom, top goes with top. That's what my motto is, okay? I know I look gorgeous, but don't, you know, paparazzi. You know. Actually, no. What do you guys think of what I just said? Because I think what I said is pretty true, okay? It's not. Obviously, the guys, not. obviously, guys like him won't, you know, believe or like agree with me. But I'm People telling you, have actually had relationships before. I just think that it's just a little 
you know, a little weird and strange that people would do that. And it's just, you know. I think the whole process of sex should be let's smooch for a couple while and then penetrate. There, there shouldn't be any kind of weird action like that, okay? There's no... It's called foreplay. Let's, I don't care about that foreplay it's shit. It's, oh, it's necessary. It builds up the... It, it builds up the sexual tension. Exactly. Well, it I'm makes just, it that much better for both partners. Well, I'm just saying, what's the whole point of putting your mouth in places? Let me tell you something. Men who put their dingalings between women's breasts should not be... It's not okay, okay? And this is coming from a male perspective, okay? I'm just sure? telling you. Are you sure it's well, male perspective? Well, you know, it is from a male perspective. I'm a boy. Boy, it probably would be very pleasurable to put your dingling in places and you rub it. But for women, what do they feel? I'm just like, it, like, can you guys like put in the comments below? I want to read like what some of the girls are gonna say about this. Cause what is the whole process of having a dingling rubbing up between your tits? Like, it's already uncomfortable enough from based on what girls say. This is what from girls say. They already have. It's very uncomfortable to have breasts. So what is the whole point of having something rub up the, between the breasts when it's already uncomfortable? It's probably sweaty and like... Uh, it's, it's, it's not for them. They're trying to give pleasure for their man. I know. See, that's... Okay, yeah. I agree. Each, each of them do that for each other. Oh, God, Lord. I that's, think why, that, that's why they're doing the actions. I, I, I think that it's just a little unfair for women. You know, I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna do something pleasurable for women, nope. Excuse my language, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna, you know, show pleasure between the two, I don't think having a man shove his dingling between holes that shouldn't be going is not an okay idea. I think that if y'all both are gonna have some kind of, I don't know, sexual tension or whatever y'all are gonna do, you know, do something both of you guys are comfortable with, not have one sex have all the glory, you know, I'm just saying. Oh, hey, based on the camera, my eyes are squinty as fuck. Like, you can't even see my eyes. This is true Asian right here. You can blind him with some, uh, Get it off of me. I know. Yeah, There's point. something wrong with my eyes. Something wrong with his eyes. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy that little rant discussion argument. It's not a rant, it's a damn opinion, okay? Well, I'm giving opinion. my damn Yeah, opinions. opinion. Okay, uh, okay. Anyway, if you enjoyed that, please leave a comment below saying you enjoyed it. Maybe we'll do more videos with Jimmy and James over here. Y'all better yeah. subscribe so no. you guys can make no. me famous because no. I'm stealing no. off of Kevin. Yeah, he might be. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, thank you for watching once again. And Wonder Ones will be coming up later today. So, enjoy. See you guys later.